Hi everyone, it's Terry from the Gypsy Magpie and I'm here today for the Graphics Fairy uh, with a little miniature junk journal that I've created to capture some summertime memories at the seashore. It's really small. It fits in the palm of my hand. Um, it's three and a half by five inches so uh, it's something that I was able to put together fairly quickly. It was pulled together from two main bundles on the premium member site. I used Seaside Holiday and here's the, the tongue twister, She Sells Seashells. Those were where I got all of the beautiful uh, shell images and uh, the base of every page is pulled once again from my favorite vintage postcards bundle. So um, I'll open it up, we'll take a little tour, and then I'll show you really quickly how I actually made the structure of the book. So uh, the cover here is made with a, it's actually called a coaster. It's one of the, um, the pre-made PDFs. I tried to use a combination of ready to print PDFs and also uh, the images that you can size to fit your particular project. That's where I got most of the seashells. So uh, I've got a coaster on the front, I've got a coaster on the back, and being as these are four inch squares, I just had to trim them down a little bit to fit this format. Um, I did print off some images out of, I think this one is from Seaside Holiday. I did a little bit of fussy cutting in this, but not a whole lot. Um, I did fussy cut this lobster. I think he's darling. Fussy cut um, the seashells. They all go really, really quickly. There's just a little metal piece on there, and the entire thing is tied together with a ribbon. So let me untie it, and let's take a tour. So again, three and a half by five, um, it, it doesn't take a lot to fill the pages. Um, I did scatter some of um, some images that I had in my collection of some black and white little beach beauties. I've added those to some of the pages, but for the most part, I tried to let uh, the embellishment be the beautiful seashells. I have not done any stickles work or glitter work in this, but I will probably go back and do that at a later date. I just wasn't exactly sure how how glitzy I wanted this. So let's see. We've got another one of those cute little beach girls. She's relaxing in her chair out on the sand with her high heels on. We all wear those to the beach. We've got more shells. I really, really love the old-fashioned souvenir cards. I don't know if they were at one time postcards from different places that you visited, but they're really cute. She's got several of these in the bundles. Again, we've got a little black and white beach beauty there. I feel like the postcards, the postcards are so versatile. Um, I mean, just on their own, the graphic is gorgeous. Um, it gives me a lot of place, a lot of room to do journaling, but I can also, if I print out, you know, like a two by two square, I can actually get a photo on most of these. So I tried to leave blank space where I could so that it, it was useful other than just something to look at, which I, I do have a lot of those books in my collection where there's really nothing in them. They're just images that I think are pretty to look at. But this one I'm definitely going to use this summer. So we turn it again. We've got another one of another one of these black and white beauties here. Um, I liked the painting of the old ships on there. And again, whoops, again we've got the seashells on the bottom. More seashells here. This was some type of an advertisement for an oyster and chop house. I thought it was cute. It looks like an old business card. The pages are actually pretty sturdy. Um, they're printed on regular cardstock, but when you glue two of them together, it gives you a nice, a nice weight. Here's another one of these uh, souvenir postcards, I would call it. And we've got a compass rose here, another fussy cut shell. There's enough going on uh, on the postcards 
you, you really have a ready-made collage background. These three girls, they make me smile every time I look at them. So I put them on a giant seashell. This is another one of those four inch coasters. The PDF has four different designs on there. And those actually would make a cute book if you just did a four by four book. We've got another, this pale blue postcard is probably my favorite in the, the entire bundle. And again, this is another, I guess it was a watercolor painting, but it's it's really pretty, made a great background. This one has a lot of blank space for me to use. And again, the anchor, it's uh, one of the images in the bundle. I just fussy cut it. Another rather plain page next to another page. Now this page is pretty full, but again, those girls, they're cute. They look like they're having a good time at the beach and they are layered on top of another, uh, what I believe is a watercolor painting. And that's the end of the book. So it wasn't real hard to put together. Um, the structure of this book is probably the easiest type of a book you can make. Um, let me show you how it's, how I've done it. I, I print out my images for the base and again I printed three and a half by five inches. So here's one of the postcards out of the postcard bundle and I I find myself printing that bundle out over and over. I literally have stacks of these postcards because they are my go-to substrate for just about anything I make. But I printed it out, I cut it, um, I did a little bit, just a little bit of ink on the edges. I didn't want it too dirty, but I didn't want it too fresh either. So um, I printed for this book, I printed out a whole bunch of them, but we're going to need two to make every page spread. So I've got, I've got these two printed out. What I do next is I need to make something that holds the pages together. So for this one, uh, I cut a bunch of strips. They're one inch wide by three and a half inches tall because this is three and a half inches. So I cut a bunch of them out. I simply fold them in half, give them a good crease with the bone folder. And then I take my scissors and I, well, actually if I turn this the other way, it shows better. I snip this at a diagonal and I would also snip the other end because when you attach it, when it gets attached, if it goes straight across, a lot of times you have a little bit of paper that shows up here. It, this is kind of like one of those sewing techniques. If you take it off at an angle, it removes some of the bulk and it removes any chance of that paper showing up on the top. So this is simply your binding strip. What you do next is you attach it to the back of one of them and then I'm gonna attach it to the neighbor, the neighbor in the spread. So I use glue on mine, but for this purpose, I just put a little bit of score tape on. I am going to go ahead and adhere that. So it looks like that on the back. This is not going to show at all, so it doesn't matter what kind of paper you're using. You end up with, let me give this a good crease you end up with a two page spread in your book. What I did after that was I made a bunch of them. That became the structure of my book. I went ahead and I glued these together with some glue. So that would make a solid page. So you'd have those pages and you flip it and you would have those pages and you just continue on. You just build your book that way. Um, what it ends up doing is it makes its own spine, I guess is, is what you would call it. The spine looks like that. So it's actually, it, it's a very clean spine. Um, you can, if you like traveler's notebooks, you can build one the same way. Um, you just, you kind of do it. You think of it in terms of two page spreads for the cover. I simply I printed out an image from the, uh, it was called the East Coast Maps. I printed one image, I cut it three and a half inches tall, and this ended up being, I think this is an inch and a quarter 
on each side and then my spine my spine right there it's about a half an inch that's all if it's even that what you do is you get all of your pages glued together then get your measurement and just score your paper give it a good fold and that gives it a super clean super super clean spine I love the look of it um, it's a really easy way to put a journal together especially if you've never done one and you actually want it bound rather than hole punched and and using rings so I hope you'll give it a try um, I had a good time making this I'm definitely gonna make others that are similar I think I might pick some other themes go through the bundles and um, uh, do a couple more of these um, anyway Thank you for stopping by. I hope you check back often. Uh, every week, there is a new junk journal created by one of the designers on the team. And they come up with all kinds of ideas and helpful hints. Do a little shopping on the premium member site to find some images and start printing. Get out your scissors and glue. Anyway, happy summer. Go make something awesome. Bye-bye.